So if you've been struggling with this topic before and you've been going back and forth whether you should or shouldn't charge for your photography and you've been dealing with kind of reasons coming up like but it's so much fun and I enjoy doing it so why should I charge money for it or but it's my friends who are asking me to take photographs. This video is for you and I'm gonna discuss all of the different reasons why it's still important for you to charge and why it might be not only detrimental to your self and your own work if you don't charge money for your work but it will be detrimental to everybody else all right let's start with reason number one and reason number one is that artistic or creative work is still work i know that many artists and creatives are struggling with exactly that reason it is this assumption because something is creative because something is fun because we like doing it because it's part of expressing ourselves it's kind of more like our personal pleasure and joy and it's not really considered work. Well, this isn't true. If you have been sitting in front of your computer for hours editing images, if you know how you feel after an, a day out shooting, you know, yes, you are energized and yes, you love what you do, but it's still work. It might not be your job, it might not be your full-time career yet maybe you're striving for it to become your full-time job or your career but still even if you're doing it on the side next to your normal nine to five job and you're doing photography for other people for clients then it's still work and even if you're not doing it for clients even if you're doing it purely to create something for artistic reasons artistic work is still work and we all kind of need to collectively recognize it because it will be beneficial for the entire society if everybody is aware that artists work and we value and recognize artistic work okay the second reason is because you can't pay your rent you can't pay your bills in likes appreciation and shares and followers. I know this from a lot of my friends and colleagues who are photographers that we are living in a time when people think that because they have a certain social media following maybe they are influencers or you know models or some kind of personality online that they can hire people and pay them in shares and I don't mean the shares from the stock market I mean that they say, oh, I'm going to mention your name and people are going to see it on my profile and you will get new followers and likes. Well, that is nice. And of course, it's a benefit if you work with somebody who has a big following and can kind of expose you to more people, but you can't pay your rent with that. So it's really important that we charge for our services that people know that this is work and we can't pay our rent and likes so we need to get paid okay we're on reason number three and reason number three is you will become that person what do i mean by that i mean by that that people will know that you are the person who works for free they will know that if they ask you you will not charge anything or you will maybe charge a very low price this is maybe a topic for a different video that you shouldn't undercharge but you will become known by this company or this person who's asking you to do a photographic job that you will most likely do it for free when they recommend you to other people they will also say that you don't charge so other people will start expecting you to work for free so you will enter this vicious cycle of free work leading to more free work or more free gigs Whereas if you do paid gigs, this will lead to more paid gigs. And this is because people talk and they recommend people and then automatically somebody asks, oh, how much does this person charge? And then they will say, oh, they will do it for free or they charge very little. And then people already expect that from you. So you don't want to become that person because you will put yourself in that position and it's gonna be very hard to get out of it in the future. It's gonna be very hard to raise your prices from zero to something or from very little to like a price that can sustain you in your life, basically. We still have to pay our rent, we still have to pay our bills, we still have to pay for our food. Photographers still need to eat. 
Okay, the fourth reason kind of leads on from the last one and it's based around experience. You need to charge something because you will learn how to negotiate from the beginning. And this is a very important skill, not only for photographers, but any kind of people who are self-employed, especially people in the creative industries. We find it so hard and I know from personal experience because I find it really hard myself. We need to learn how to negotiate our price and we need to be confident, we need to be persistent and that takes practice. This doesn't come to us naturally or it doesn't come to most people naturally. So it's something that we have to do from one time to the other and we will get better at it. The more you negotiate your prices, the better you will get at negotiating prices. And this is a very important skill to learn if you want this to be a job, a career and something that pays your bills because you will have to do it constantly. You will have to do it with every new client, with every new request. They will probably try to negotiate the price and you need to be really good at it for your own sake and for everybody else's sake. Talking about everybody else, this leads us to reason number five. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the most important reasons that I'm including in this list. And it is because you will be devaluing your industry. So if you're similar to me and you feel a little bit uncomfortable and awkward thinking about your own value and your own price and how much you should be charging, and I know that me and a lot of my colleagues feel this way, especially when starting out in this job, then I have this tip for you. Think of all your colleagues and friends who are photographers. Because basically, if we don't charge anything or we charge a very low price for a certain kind of work, then we are doing harm to the prices of everybody else in the industry. Imagine a client asking different photographers for what they charge and a lot of them ask for the same amount and then one person asks for nothing or very little. The client will start to question the other prices. And if this keeps happening and happening and people enter the industry and kind of compete with the prices by going lower and lower or charging nothing. This will basically destroy everybody else's prices and we don't want that. When we are negotiating, we are not only negotiating for ourselves, we are negotiating for an entire industry of photographers out there who need to be earning a living and who need to be charging fair prices that help them survive and help them thrive in this great job. Okay, reason number six is a little bit tricky to kind of wrap your head around it sometimes, but the more you think about it, the more it starts making sense. Reason number six is because clients will value your work more if you charge more. So think about it, you are out somewhere and maybe there's a street fair and they're giving out freebies, maybe pens or gummy bears or balloons or anything else. How much do you value these freebies? Usually not a lot. So we bring them home and usually they end up somewhere in the corner or we throw them in the trash. Yeah, we don't think about freebies as a highly valuable thing in our life. But what about if we spend our hard earned cash on a service or a good and we know exactly how much it costs and maybe the price is a little bit of a stretch for us. We will value and appreciate that thing even more. This is the same kind of psychological thing that happens when you charge a good and reasonable amount for your services. People will look at your work differently because they've paid more for it. They will value it higher than if they didn't pay anything for it. If they didn't pay anything for it, they're not valuing the time and effort and love you're putting into this work. But if they do pay you per hour or per image that they're getting, they are more likely to value it at a higher, higher standard. All right, let's get to reason number seven. And reason number seven concerns you. If you charge for your work, you will take your work more seriously. Of course, this might not be true for everybody and not all the time, but in my experience, if there is something at stake, so you have maybe a paying client and a certain expectation to deal with, you will raise your own standards and perform to a higher standard. Put in more attention to detail, put in more creativity, more work, because you know that whatever you deliver, somebody will pay for it. So you need to be professional in the way 
you should, you need to be professional in how you manage your time, you need to be professional in the way that you deliver your images, you need to be professional in your time management. And actually this is a really good exercise as well because it will teach you to be more professional in handling your work overall if you are treating it as a business from the beginning and you're kind of forcing yourself to be more professional by putting yourself in this professional context of being paid, if that makes sense. Reason number nine is this, and this, and you know, maybe this. Reason number nine is because you'll be able to reinvest that money that you earn back into yourself, your skills, and your gear, and your materials. Doing photography takes money. Whether it's money to buy film if you're shooting analog, whether it's money to invest in SD cards, cameras, lenses, software, online storage, you name it. It's a costly thing, unfortunately, to be a photographer. And the further you kind of level up, the more expensive your gear tends to become, the more expensive your materials tend to become. And you need to be able to pay this because you want to get better. You want to work with better things. You want to be working with better films maybe. And I always say it doesn't have to cost the world to start out as a photographer. It doesn't have to be expensive or break the bank. But if you want to progress, you will need to also progress in this respect. So if you charge for your work, that you will hopefully have a little bit of income to spare to reinvest in your skills and your business and your gear. So you can try out new things, try out something silly like Polaroids or like a different film stock that is more exciting and expensive. I'm looking at you, Cena still 800T. It will also give you the opportunity to be a little bit wasteful, especially if you are a film shooter like me. You know how precious we tend to become about like not wasting a frame, not wasting a roll of film, maybe not doing something because we think it's not a good enough project. But earning money as a photographer gives you the opportunity to kind of free yourself and maybe be a little bit wasteful, do that project, waste that roll of film and just experiment and see what happens. You are charging money so you can actually progress and learn in the skill that you are most passionate about. Let's get to the 10th and final reason. And this is one that's close to my heart because I've had this conversation with friends so many times and people say, I don't wanna charge money for my photography because it's fun for me, it's my passion. I enjoy it and it doesn't feel like work to me. And I understand that, but fun and work are not mutually exclusive concepts. And we tend to forget this when we are working in a field that is artistic and that is creative. We tend to forget that we deserve to be paid for work that's fun. And it's okay if it's fun, you still deserve to be paid for it. And if it's your passion, you still deserve to be paid for it. So please do reconsider this mindset of if something's fun, you shouldn't get paid for it and kind of combine the two and think, yes, it's fun and I should get paid for it. And also combine it with all of the other nine reasons that I gave you before to really feel empowered to charge for your work and not feel bad about it and feel okay about it because you're not a bad person if you're a photographer and you want to get paid for your job just like anybody else who's doing a different kind of job. So I really hope that this video was helpful to you at any stage that you're at. I would be very curious to hear from you if you have anything to add to my list, if you know any more reasons why we shouldn't be working for free as photographers, please put them in the comments below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.